Hi everyone, uh, welcome to Impact Academy. Let us continue uh, with the national current affairs from the 21st question. Which international company is planning to establish a semiconductor plant in Sanal, Gujarat? Okay, remember the name Simtel. Today there is a lot of emphasis on uh, semiconductors, right? And uh, government is also looking, looking to uh, reduce the import dependency. Okay, because uh, if you look at the chip industry, we are uh, relying heavy, heavily on imports. Okay, and uh, that will have a lot of effect on our uh, uh, forex reserves and uh, current account deficit, everything. So we are trying to reduce our import bills, especially in the semiconductor uh, industry. So, a new international, uh, inter which international company is planning to establish a semiconductor plant? Okay, where is it? In Gujarat, Sanand Gujarat, Simtel. Fine, let us move ahead. Which initiative was recently launched by Prime Minister Narendra Modi to promote cleanliness at pilgrimage sites? So, uh, it is called Swachh Mandir campaign. Okay, so what is the Swachh Mandir campaign? Okay, it was launched by Prime Minister, uh, Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Basically, it means clean temple, and it was launched ahead of the Ram Temple consecration in Ayodhya on January 22. And he called for a nationwide initiative to make Ayodhya the cleanest city in India. So, all these things try to remember. That is the Swachh Mandir campaign, as the name suggests, clean uh, uh, temple. Also, from that Swachh, I mean Swachh Sarvekshan awards, uh, Swachh Sarvekshan survey is also very frequently asked. So let us also look at that. So Swatch Survey Action uh, to 2023, it is conducted every year. So 2023, remember this, the cleanest city is indoor and Surat. This question can be asked, which is that, and this is with population of more than 10 lakhs. And there is another category, population less than 1 lakh. So in population of more than 10 lakh, indoor and Surat, first and second position, you can say. Third is Navi Mumbai, fourth is Vishakhapatna. So, in the small city category, you have uh, Saswad, Patan, Lonawala, Karat, Panchgani. So, but try to remember this one, Indore and Surat, okay. Indore and Surat were declared the joint cleanest cities of India as part of such survey. And in the bottom three, we have Kolkata, Asansol and Haura. Okay, try to remember that. <coughs> and among the states, okay, this we are seeing in cities. Among the states with more than 100 local bodies, we have Maharashtra, Madhya Pradesh, Chhattisgarh, Odisha, Telangana. So try to remember these things. Top Maharashtra. Here the clearest city is Indoor and Surat. Here it is Maharashtra. Okay. Bottom five you have uh, Tripura, Nagaland, Rajasthan, Mizoram, Arunachal Pradesh. And also most improved is in the uh, above ten lakh category. It is Panaji, Goa, and below uh, below uh, ten lakh, uh, below one lakh. Okay. Below one lakh category is. Uh, Naurozabad, Madhya Pradesh. Okay. Try to remember all these things. Indore and Surat, cleanest city. Maharashtra, okay, top one state. And the most improved, Panaji and Naurozabad, etc. In the least, you have Kolkata. And uh, here you have Tripura. Okay. So try to remember all these things. Fine. <laughs> What is the name of a guideline issued by the University Grants Commission in India to instill human values and professional ethics in higher education? So, human values and uh, professional ethics in higher education, which is Mulya Prava, right? So, what is Mulya Prava? Just let us look at clearly. So, Mulya Prava, a guideline issued by the UGC aimed at promoting ethical values and professional integrity in higher education. Okay. What are the objectives? Mulya Brava 2.0 seeks to address the prevalent unethical practices in various organizations, including favoritism, favoritism, sexual harassment, and discrimination. And we are talking about higher education institutions. Okay. So, provisions and uh, emphasizes transparency, open communication, participation, everything. So, basically, you have to remember higher education. There is this higher education, human values, professional ethics. That is Mulya Brava 2.0. And it is a guideline issued by UGC. University Grants Commission, which infrastructure project, also known as Atal Setu, was inaugurated by the PM Modi in Mumbai. Atal Setu, look at this. The MTHL was originally, which is called Mumbai Trans Harbor Link. Okay, MTHL is Mumbai Trans Harbor Link. 
to connect Mumbai and Navi Mumbai. Severi Chile. <coughs> MTHS Sea Bridge. The overall construction cost is approximately 20,000 crore, funded by a Japanese bank and around 75,000 vehicles. All that is fine. Longest bridge and sea bridge in India. Okay. Remember this 21.8 kilometers length and width is six lanes. Okay. And the 12th longest sea bridge in the world. And what is the longest sea bridge? Hong Kong and Macau in China. So between Hong Kong and China, there is a bridge that is the longest. And that is 55 kilometers. And our bridge is 21.8 kilometers. Connect South Mumbai and Navi Mumbai. It reduces two hour journey to just 15 20 minutes. All these things you have to remember. 20,000 road across, 70,840. Maximum speed allowed 100. All this is fine. Uh, motorcycles, auto rickshaws, and tractors are not allowed. So only cars and heavy vehicles. Fine. So remember all those important points. And the question is Atal Setu, which is the infrastructure project in Mumbai, Mumbai Trans Harbor Link. Remember all those things. MTHL. Udupi Railway Station, situated under the Konkan Railway Corporation. Network has recently included in which government scheme for redevelopment? Amrit Bharat Station Scheme. So remember that Amrit Bharat Station Scheme would be railway station was recently included. So which of the following points is incorrect? Fine. So before looking at the question, let us look at uh, what. So one, two, three is correct. Fourth one is wrong. So one, two, three is correct. Let us look at Prithvi Vigyan, okay, ISRO and MRIC and USAID and Indian Railways. So let us see what he is talking about. So if you observe, first thing is Prithvi Vigyan. What is Prithvi? Okay. Long term observations of the atmosphere, ocean, geosphere, cryosphere, and solid earth. Development of modeling systems, understanding, predicting weather, ocean, climate hazards. Exploration of polar and high seas regions. So basically, it is a uh, what you say, Prithvi means earth, right? So observation of the earth. That is Prithvi Vigyan. And ISRO has signed an MOU with Mauritius Research and Innovation Council. I try to remember that. And what is it uh, about? It's the Mauritian Space. Okay, ISRO is the Indian Premier Space Organization and Mauritius Research Innovation Council. And MOU was signed and indian railways collaborated with usaid okay usaid india to achieve net zero carbon emissions by 2030 in general india wants to achieve net zero by 2070 remember that that is very important by 2070 india wanted to become a net zero country here indian railway collaborating with usaid okay to achieve net zero carbon emissions by 2030 and also ministry of petroleum and natural gas and the eil have signed the MOU for the fiscal year. So let us look at the question. The union cabinet has approved the scheme Prithvi Vigyan of Ministry of Earth Sciences. So we have seen what is Prithvi Vigyan, Earth observation, all this uh, uh, long term observation of atmosphere, earth, development of various modeling system, exploration of polar and high seas, etc. And Ministry of Earth Sciences, try to remember that. Next, Union Cabinet has approved the MOU between ISRO and Mauritius uh, Research and Innovation Council <coughs> for development of a small satellite. That is the MOU, remember. And the Indian Railways has signed an MOU with United States for International Development. Okay, USAID, India, United, uh, United States for International Development to achieve net zero carbon emission by 2030. All these are very important. MOU between Indian Railways and USAID to achieve net zero carbon emission by 2030. In general, India wants to become a net carbon zero emitter by 2070. That is also very important. And we have seen Ministry of Petroleum and Natural Gas and EIL. Okay, this is not uh, United Arab uh, thing. MOPNG, EIL and MOPNG signed the MOU for fiscal year 23-24. Remember that. Which union ministry recently launched the portal for affordable credit? So, we have PISA portal. What is PISA portal? It is a portal for affordable credit and interest subvention access. And PM Swanidhi. 
వాట్ ఇస్ పిఎం స్వా నిధి స్ట్రీట్ వెండర్స్ ఆత్మ నిర్భర్ నిధి స్ట్రీట్ స్ట్రీట్ వెండర్స్ ఆత్మ నిర్భర్ నిధి సో వాట్ ఇస్ పిఎం స్వా నిధి సో పిఎం స్వా నిధి ఇస్ సెంట్రల్ సెక్టర్ స్కీమ్ ఇట్ ఇస్ నాట్ ఎ సెంట్రల్ స్పాన్సర్ సెంట్రల్ సెక్టర్ దట్ మీన్స్ హండ్రెడ్ పర్సెంట్ ఫండింగ్ విల్ బి గివెన్ బై ద సెంట్రల్ గవర్నమెంట్ ఇఫ్ ఇట్ ఇస్ అ సెంట్రల్ స్పాన్సర్డ్ స్కీమ్ only some percentage whether it is 70% 90% depending on the situation will be provided by the central government it is launched in 2020 uh, one of the statement can be say it, it is launched in 2021 so you have to identify that it was launched in 2020 it's a special micro credit facility to provide affordable loans up to 10000 to more than 50 lakh street vendors who had their business operation before 24th march did you remember 10000 loan up to 10000 50 lakh street vendors launched in 2020 micro credit uh, facility okay that is pm swanidhi especially to street vendors and uh, tenure of loan is one year interest is interest subsidy at 7% per annum so if you pay on time yeah, if you pay back uh, the interest on time you will get a 7% interest subsidy also okay try to remember a question can be asked on this monthly cashback incentive of up to rupees 100 on digital transactions higher loan eligibility next time if you repay the first loan covers urban local bodies across the country covers urban local bodies so try to keep that in mind it is uh, exclusively related to urban local bodies so these are the objectives of pm swanidhi to uh, provide affordable working capital loans to the street vendors encourage regular payment okay promote digitalization also see you get a 100 cash back so pm swanidhi street vendors aatmanirbhar nidhi launched in 2020 10000 rupees is the loan one year tenure 7% interest subsidy 100 100 rupees cash back and uh, urban local bodies and what else is this sid sidba small industries development development bank of india is the technical partner so obviously because it is small industries development fine so, and the duration is up to march 2022 and paisa portal what is paisa portal portal for affordable credit and interest subvention access it's an initiative of deen dayal antyodaya uh, national urban livelihood mission remember that also paisa portal means portal for affordable credit and interest subvention access and it's the initiative of day nulm so what is the question so question contains all the information and is asking who uh, recently launched it mr uh, union minister of housing and urban affairs hardeep singh puri fine so all these other things also try to remember mansukh mandavia family and health uh, health and family welfare frequently in news in which state union minister for health and family welfare mansukh mandavia has recently inaugurated prasadam india's first healthy and hygienic food state we have already seen ujjain right in the first question last uh, session so prasadam scheme uh, healthy and hygienic street food it was launched in ujjain madhya pradesh launched by mansukh mandavia health and family welfare minister so what is this question which organization has recently signed an mou with indian railways to reduce energy and water consumption and lower greenhouse gas emissions so confederation of indian industry so mou has been signed between indian railways and cia confederation of indian industry to promote and facilitate green initiative also indian railways has uh, set net zero carbon emission target by 2030 and with usaid we have just seen right usaid and also confederation of indian industry it is uh, to reduce the energy and water consumption and lower greenhouse gas greenhouse uh, greenhouse gas emissions fine <laughs> so we are talking about gi tax okay gi tax is frequently asked in exam so let, let us look at in depth about uh, recent gi uh, uh, news so recently gi tax have been given for kapda kapda ganda shawl okay kapda ganda shawl which is uh, woven and this is the design by the dongria kond tribe in the niamgiri hills of odisha raigada etc so uh, we're talking about odisha dongria kons their pvtgs and kapda ganda shawl remember that this shawl and this is the lanjia saura painting and again pvtg in raigad district art belongs to lanjia saura community paintings are in the form of exterior murals 
painted on mud walls of home. See, so these are mud walls of home. They have a crimson maroon background. So Langya Saura paint is Raya district. And this is Odisha, Dongriya cones, Kapda Ganda shawls. Then Langya Saura painting. Both are uh, PVTGs. And Kora food Kala Jira rice. The black colored rice variety is known as Prince of Rice, famous for its uh, aroma, etc. Kora food region. Okay, Kora food Kala Jira rice. Kora food also, I think, Orissa. Okay, Simli Pal also, Orissa. Chutney made with red weaver ants. Okay. Simply Paul Kai Chetni means Red Weaver Ants. Okay, Mayur Bunch, Simply Paul Forest, all that is Orissa. <laughs> Nayagad, Kantai Mundi Brinjal. This Brinjal is known for pretty thorns on the stems and the whole plant. Anyway, remember that Nayagad, Kantai Mundi Brinjal, Odisha, Khajuri Guda or Jagri. Okay, Odisha, Khajuri Guda, sweetener extracted from pan. And Denkanal Magji, it's a type of sweet made from cheese from buffalo milk. Okay. So, remember all these things. Kapta Ganda Shawl, Langya Sora paintings, both PVTGs, and Kapta, Gang, uh, Kapta Ganda is Odisha, Raigada, Neemdiri Hills, uh, Dongdiri Akon, and this is Langya Sora community, Raigada district, Koraput, Kala, Koraput, Simlipal, all are in Odisha, Kala Jira Rice, Kai Chitney, and Red, Vavari, Red uh, Weaver Ants, Nayagad, Kante Modi, Brinjal, Odisha, Kajuri, Goda means Jagari. And then, then Kanal Mangji. And other important things in Arunachal Pradesh, Wancho Wooden Craft and Adi Kekir. It's a ginger variety from Arunachal Pradesh, Adi Kekir. And Wancho Wooden Craft is ethnic woodcraft integral to Wancho tribes. In West Bengal, Thangail Sari, Sari style originating from Bengal with distinct weaving patterns. Garad Sari, Sari known for unique texture and appearance. Koreal Sari. Sari recognized for weaving style and traditional Kalo Nunia rice. So, this is the second type of rice. One we have seen Kal Jira rice, this. Koraput Kal Jira rice, and we have Kalo Nunia rice, Sundarban honey. So, all these are from West Bengal. Tangail Sari, Garat Sari, Koreal Sari, three types of saris. One rice, Kalo Nunia, one honey. Gujarat, we have Kachi Karek, date palm harvested at Kalal, bold, crisp, and sweet. Jaman Kashmir, we have Ramban Anardana, locally referred to as Druni. Important fruit tree growing widely. Okay, so Jammu and Kashmir we have a fruit, Ramban, Anardana. Gujarat is date palm uh, product, Kachi Kare. And we have Sundarban honey, Kalo Nunia rice, Koreal Sari, Garat Sari, Tangail Sari, Adi Kekir is the ginger variety. And Arunachal Pradesh, Wancho Wooden Craft. <coughs> so, which state products uh, just now we have seen? Tangail Sari, Koreal Sari, and Garat Sari all are from West Bengal. Also, we have seen some Kalamunia rice and Sundarban honey from West Bengal. So, which state has recently launched India's first ever report management portal and meeting management portal for efficient governance? So, remember Himachal Pradesh. Okay. Which uh, you uh, in January 2024? Dash became the first union territory in India to implement the Pradhan Mantri Vishwa Karma Yojana. So, what is PM Vishwa Karma? Central sector scheme again. So, that means 100% by the central government to support traditional artisans and crafts people of rural and urban India. So, traditional artisans, sometimes like PM Swanidhi and all street vendors. So, Vishwakarma is traditional artisans and crafts. Financial outlay of 13,000 crore, 18 traditional trades. Artisans and craft people to be provided recognition with Vishwakarma certificate. And there is also credit support of 1 lakh and in second uh, installment 2 lakhs and uh, interest rate is 5%. They will also provide skill upgradation, toolkits, digital transactions, etc. And uh, 18 traditional uh, covered in first, uh, this carpenters. Boat maker, armors, blacksmith, hammer, toolkit maker, locksmith, goldsmith, potter, sculptor, stone breaker, cobbler, mason, basket, mat, broom maker, choir weaver, doll and toy maker, barber, garland maker, washerman, tailor, fishing net maker. <coughs> that is PM Vishwakarma. Now, what is the question? Uh, which UT became the first to implement uh, PM Vishwakarma Yojana is Jammu and Kashmir? 
and jammu and kashmir some time back we have seen uh, one uh, gi attack right what is that pamban ramban ramban anadana is a local fruit ramban anadana so which state has recently been recognized as the petro capital of india so it is gujarat okay gujarat emerges as india's petro capital with the world's largest grassroots oil refinery in oil refi uh, refinery in jamnagar and the petrochemical complex at dahej in baruch district remember these things jamnagar baruch gujarat is now recognized as the petro capital of india anyway so remember that it is the petro capital of india gujarat jamnagar and baruch district so as of january dash uttar pradesh okay is set to build india's first artificial intelligence city to promote ai ecosystem so up to build india's first ai city in lucknow okay it will uh, provide 40 acres in the nadarganj industrial area remember this nadarganj and uh, all uh, support land acquisition regulation etc anyway remember nadarganj lucknow up india's first ai city to be built so uh, which state has launched non resident uh, nri website under department of nri fs punjab okay there are lot of nri from punjab right so punjab had uh, launched a nri website website exclusively for nri so which union ministry launched a national protocol to provide training of anganwadi workers to help children with disabilities so you can say ministry of women and child development okay <laughs> so anganwadi workers children with disabilities etc uh, obviously women and child development so there is a scheme for providing drones to women self help groups belonging to which category central sector scheme okay so it's a central sector scheme which provides drones to women self help groups next is pm pm janman scheme so what is pm janman scheme so this is uh, pm janman scheme what is it pradhan mantri's guarantee to tribal communities launched on janjatiya gaurav divas okay 24000 crore pm janjati uh, remember the full form okay janjati adivasi nyay maha abhiyan janjati adivasi nyay maha abhiyan abhiyan is aimed at the holistic development of pvdgs particularly vulnerable tribal groups and improving their socio economic conditions that is pm janman okay janjati adivasi nyay maha abhiyan access of PV, uh, pvdg families to basic facilities okay safe housing cleaning water etc health education road connectivity and uh, look at this sabko pakka ghar okay everyone proper house har gal uh, nal se jal okay jal jeevan mission Uh, sadak means roads bijli electricity hostels kaushal vikas skill development and uh, portion nutrition etc etc 18 states and one union territory 75 pvtgs 24000 crore allocated 7 lakh households 28 lakh pvtg population so try to remember some of these convergence with nine ministries 11 basic communities these are the 11 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11. okay okay so pm janman scheme which was launched recently is also associated with which category pvtgs okay particularly vulnerable tribal groups don't get confused easy so pradhan mantri garib kalyan anna yojana so pradhan mantri garib kalyan anna yojana uh, especially during the covid time it was extended 5 kg free food rice to be provided to the poor for the months of may and june 2021 also okay uh, garib kalyan anna yojana so on the garib kalyan yojana you also have a scheme for declaration of uh, uh, undeclared income also okay that also comes under garib kalyan uh, yojana also, yojana you can declare the undeclared uh, un, uh, that income which you have not paid tax etc and garib kalyan anna yojana it provides for free 5 kg free food rice and the scheme got extended afterwards initially it was uh, during the uh, covid time now it had got extended uh, see pm gky extended till 2028 80 crore beneficiaries then a significant population of india 
in line with uh, uh, pm modi ji commitment to poor uh, 80 crore beneficiaries and uh, cost of 26000 crore okay nutritional support it is 5 kg per person per month free of cost okay 5 kg remember that and uh, now it is extended till 2028 during covid it was introduced multiple times it was extended and the question is it has been extended till which year 2028 try to remember that as per the recently announced roadmap by which year there will be a mandatory 5% blending of compressed biogas in city gas distribution fine right. so look at some of the inter- important terminologies pipe natural gas natural gas mainly methane is supplied through mild steel and polyethylene pipes to cater to domestic commercial and non that is pipe natural gas png okay natural gas supplied through pipe connections to household is called domestic png okay pipe natural gas cng compressed natural gas mainly composed of methane that is also methane right compressed to less than so it is compressed to less than of 1% volume and uh, uh, at a pressure of 20 25 etc so remember all this city gas distribution network okay we are talking about this interconnected system of underground natural gas pipelines for supplying png and cag okay so cbg is compressed biogas see this we are talking about cbg which is compressed biogas <laughs> so along with png and cng in order to distribute cbg you need to have a cgd city gas distribution now what is saying is they launch a sustainable alternative towards affordable transportation the scheme name is satat is also important launched in 2018 uh, for comp- production of cbg compressed biogas and distribution okay and with the help of various marketing com- uh, companies it is going to uh, distribute through the city gas distribution network for synchronization of cbg with cng in cgd network okay so cbg is compressed bio gas and it will be distributed in the cgd city gas distribution along with png and cng so remember all that and that scheme is called satat <laughs> and national policy on biofuels so this is important see uh, by 2030 we have a target of 20% blending of ethanol in petrol and 5% blending of biodiesel in diesel this is very important and frequently asked so by doing this we will reduce the import bill right we are uh, more than 70 to 80% of the oil uh, requirement of india is imported from various countries like saudi arabia uh, iran venezuela etc so in order to reduce that bill we need to go for 20% blending of ethanol in petrol and 5% blending of biodiesel in diesel by 2030 this is very 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 important frequently asked okay and also biofuels national policy on biofuels uh, just go through this it's very important and some points to be noted from this point of c government announces mandatory blending of compressed biogas in cng and png of cgd sector so in the city gas distribution along with png and cng there is a compulsory uh, blending of compressed biogas okay and uh, it will help in saving forex uh, promote circular economy and achieve net zero emissions so net zero carbon emissions uh, by 2031 target is there 2070 complete net zero is there 2030 is railways right sustainable avi- aviation fuel uh, okay we can have sustainable aviation fuel and production of ethanol from maize to be promoted we have our 20% blending of ethanol right and they are going to encourage uh, i mean production of ethanol from maize as a biofuel so what is the question as per the recently announced roadmap by which year there will be mandatory 5% blending of cbg okay by 2029 remember that by 2029 there should be 5% blending of cbg in cgd cbg is compressed biogas and cgd is uh, city gas distribution by 2029 there has to be uh, 5% blending okay remember all these important points
let's continue from the next class